Hey guys, it's Avondale and welcome back to the Knockscrew Game Show recording server. Uh, I'm on here today to talk a little bit more about the API that I built behind the Knockscrew Game Show. And uh, today we're going to talk about my scoreboard system first and then we're going to go up and take a look at the start of our kits system. Uh, so one thing uh, to say about this before I get started talking about this is this was a late addition to the map. And uh, I can actually show you sort of where the idea came from in this if we head over to Bloxkeball, which you've already seen. I should be able to just bust down through the floor here. So you remember seeing in my Behind the Walls video uh, the scoreboard that was down here? Uh, I had built a similar one to this in the pilot season episode 6 using set block and it was just a nightmare. And when I built this down here I realized that uh, 1.8 made everything easier and when you ended up bringing armor stands into it as well you could just do pretty much unlimited things with this type of a scoreboard concept. So after we needed this we needed it for another game and potentially two more games that we still uh, aren't quite finished with. And I just, uh, I thought about it and I was like, you know, I'm not going to build this timer every, t or this scoreboard rather, every time I need a scoreboard for a game. Uh, so I might as well just build one in the API. And uh, that's what I did. It took about three days because the command blocks were a nightmare. But uh, yeah, here we are. So uh, if we just sort of take a look at the overview of this, you'll notice... Uh, I have these big clumps of numbers again, but they're actually pointing in all four compass directions, right? So over here you can see the zero uh, when I'm facing uh, east, so positive x. Uh, if we go over here you'll see the ones that I'm facing west and I see the zeros on. And then over here this one I'll be facing south, and then this last one here I'll be facing north when I'm looking at this. So it was important for me to make these in all four directions because I wanted to be able to build the scoreboard once put it wherever I wanted and use it just like that. <laughs> so you'll see here I have scoreboard initialization. If I put a block here, it's gonna tell me initializing, initialization complete, and then it's gonna say teleport and apply locations. Now, if we go over here, I can show you what that means. Uh, if I do entity data at E, we'll do R equals five, should probably get it. Uh, and then what do we say? How about invisible zero? Right. Okay, so you'll see I have an armor stand uh, here and also here. Uh, and if I did that same thing again over here, right, there'd be one more in this red block and another one in this red block here. Uh, so this is uh, the important thing that allows me to do this anywhere I want to do in the map, right? I have these four armor stands that each correspond to uh, a different location. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to initialize the scoreboard. And the way that I do that is I get to choose, again, what uh, scores they start off with, just like I did with the timer. Uh, so give me a second to do that. All right, so I have this one set up, and it's actually kind of complicated to explain. So I'm going to see if I can do this right. Uh, so I have these three armor stands right here, right? There's a blue one, a master one, and a yellow one. Uh, and this is where it gets tricky, right? I need to apply the right scores to all three of these uh, to make sure that the math happens correctly afterwards. And that's the issue. So I actually have three different scoreboard objectives on this because I wanted the scoreboard to be able to count up to 999, right? It's a three digit scoreboard. Uh, it can get uh, really uh, large numbers and the math all works out. So anyways, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to look at the total scoreboard first, right? You'll see when it gets initialized, it's at zero. And uh, so these scoreboards right here, uh, you'll notice the UUID at the end of this guy, uh, 90000, he's on top of the list right over there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply his correct scoreboard total. I want to set his score to 358. Now, for this demonstration, I want yellow to be set to the same thing as well. So they're both starting a game at 358 for some reason, right? Okay, good. So we've got that far. Uh, this guy is 90002, and uh, they're both the right numbers. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the tens place. First of all, you'll notice the tens place over here uh, has fives in it. But when I go to the tens, it has nothing. So I have to set the tens position to fives. Uh, so I've done that. And the ones over, over in the right column here are supposed to be eight. Uh, they are currently nothing. 
uh, so I have to set them to 8 as well. Great. Now I have all of the uh, mathy things done uh, just for this example. Alright, so I'll just come over here and I'll apply the scores. And as you can see, it says 358 in every direction, right? Uh, so these uh, are great here. They're fun to look at, but they don't do me any good, right? And that is where uh, the real fun starts. So 9-0-0-1-1 uh, is uh, the UUID of the armor stand uh, that is going to be, I believe it's this one right here, so it's facing this way. Uh, let's see if it's east. Yeah, it's east. Okay, so it's facing east. Uh, I don't want to teleport that one, though. Let's just teleport this one here so we can uh, make it a little bit uh, easier to see. Uh, 90013. So I'm going to go ahead and just fly somewhere up here and I'm going to teleport 9-0-0-1-3 to myself. And that armor stand is going to shoot up there, right? Now, every time I apply a score, it's actually going to take what's in this area and clone it up to my scoreboard, which now means that I can put whichever one of these armor stands I need anywhere in the world and I will get a scoreboard right there. Uh, now the fun part is when I need to increment the scoreboard up and down I don't actually get to set it in the scoreboard objectives. I have to place a redstone block here, right? So you'll notice when I do that it updates and it's gonna go up uh, It can actually go down as well uh, right back to two, but I'm gonna go ahead and just spam this real quick to get it all the way up to uh, Cross over a hundred plateau because I want you guys to see what happens there Okay, so we're almost here 97 98 99 and 400 there we go I can go back down to 399 back up to 400 401 etc so yeah the scoreboard is really versatile it allows me to do that uh, I can change the yellow one as well you'll see it change over there uh, let's talk about how it actually digs the uh, the score out though and actually applies the numbers right so Every time I update one of these uh, scores, let's see if I can see it here. When I do the yellow one, watch that block right up there in the top left of the cor corner of the screen. Uh, see how it flashed a redstone block off? And now when I do the blue one over here, watch over there now. Uh, let's see. See how it flashed a blue one as well? And you could actually, if you watch up that spot as well, you can see another one flash. Yeah. So. Every time it needs to add these scores, it's going to do a bunch of things, right? We'll take the blue positive, for example. Uh, this is just setting it to air, so that's whatever. Uh, it's adding one to the uh, the blue armor stand over there uh, in the scoreboard one value. Uh, it's adding one to the total as well. Uh, and then it's adding one to the total of master. And I'm going to go ahead and just uh, pull out some pink wool here and uh, put a piece of pink wool on top of this because we're going to come back to the master guy at the end. Uh, so now, a tick after it does that, if it has a score in the ones column that's at least 10, it's going to take the score of tens and uh, add one to it, right? So now over here in this command block, it's going to, uh, if the scoreboard ones is at 10, uh, which it already was because we saw it in this command block, if that happens over here in this command block, uh, this command block is going to set the ones back to zero. Uh, now this one is going to check the same thing, but for the tens. Uh, if the tens uh, is at least uh, ten there, it's going to set the tens back to zero because that means that it's eclipsed a hundred. Uh, after that, it's going to apply a redstone block to each of those four numbers. That's what you see when it gets here. And then after that, it's going to clone this spot here to where the armor stand is. Uh, so that's all it needs to do, right? Uh, it applies all the scores itself just by doing this. This application one back here uh, is separate for just the start of the game. So right, that's how it uh, adds and subtraction is the same thing, it's just reversed. Uh, pretty easy to figure out. Uh, let's take a look over here real quick and just see how it determines which number uh, to pick, right? So on the right side here you'll see it's executing on that blue armor stand because we need to reference its score. Uh, if it has a score in the ones category that's equal to zero, it's uh, going to act the execution from the point of this command block, right? Now that's really important. If you execute it relative to the armor stand over there like you would normally would with the tildes, um, 
what would happen. It would clone an area relative to that thing over there, and then all my clone commands would have to be slightly different with the tildes, and it would be a nightmare. So I clone it, I execute it from this particular spot right here, uh, where this command block is. We can see that if we hit F3, you'll see 466, 2185. Uh, it's cloning relative to this, so one block over uh, from this point, and then three blocks over, four blocks up uh, from that point as well. Uh, and it's cloning it to that spot over there, right? But it only does that if the score is zero. Uh, and so then if the score is one, it's in the next position. It gets another relative slice of the loaf of bread and goes over. Uh, and then the same thing happens with these other ones here. It just refers to uh, the tens category in that command block and then the hundreds category or the total, I guess would be a better way to say that, uh, on the other one. So yeah, that's what allows it to count from zero all the way up to 999. All right, so to show what our uh, master scoreboard guy does here, uh, I actually reset the scores to 358 just because it was easy. I had the blocks here. Uh, and we're going to pretend like we're starting a game, for example, Blocksketball, uh, where the team that scores the highest wins, right? Uh, so if I pull up the total scoreboard over here on the right, uh, you're going to see that it's 358 to 358, and the master guy is at zero. So now uh, every time I add one here to blue, uh, you'll see uh, the master is getting one added to it as well, right? Now if I subtract one from blue, you'll notice that it goes down one. If I add one to yellow, what do you think is going to happen? It actually goes down one again, right? Down one again, down one again. And if I uh, subtract from yellow, it's actually going to add it back up. Now what this is doing is it's telling me who's winning, right? If the that scoreboard total value for the master guy is positive, like it is right now, uh, blue team is winning. And if it's negative, like it is right now, that means yellow team is winning. Uh, it is a really easy way for me to get a winner. So basically, uh, right now it's 358 to 360, yellow's up by two. If I run this right here, it's actually gonna tell me the yellow team wins and it's gonna play the winning uh, thing and do everything automatically. Uh, because the scoreboard master knew what was going on. Uh, really neat thing, it's a really easy way for me to use this system and know who actually won instead of having to uh, figure it out myself and do it manually. Okay, so we're just about finished up with the scoreboard, at least everything I can think of, and I just wanted to run through the kit system real quick because uh, it's really only just started being used, but we're working on integrating it in forever. Uh, the point of the kit system is that we have a lot of games that do the same thing, right? Uh, so for example right here I have the shoot em sideways one. Yellow needs to be shooting, blue needs to mine. So basically this is just a kit system like you would find in a normal uh, bucket plugin. Uh, if I place a redstone block here it's going to give me this exact preset kit. And now if I do two or three different versions of a shoot em up game for example, I, have, I can just use that. Uh, this is the most used kit that we have here. It's the uh, just the general PvP kit. You'll see it gives you a bow that's unbreakable uh, in Infinity. It gives you one arrow, it gives you an iron sword that's unbreakable, and then it's going to give me a nice little message after it does it that tells me that the players actually get equipped. Uh, again, really simple system. We've really only just started using it, but it's something that we're working on converting all the old stuff over to so I can get the nice message responses in chat and uh, truly know what's going on with everything. So that's pretty much the gist of the scoreboard that I use for the game show, as well as the kit system that we're really only just starting to use. Uh, if you have any questions at all about either of these things, it'll probably be about the scoreboard because let's face it, anything that takes up an entire one of these grid squares has got to be pretty complicated, right? And I probably did a terrible job of explaining it. Uh, but if you had any questions, go ahead and leave them as a comment down below. I'll be sure to check in on this one because I know that was pretty crazy. Uh, hope you'll join me next time when I talk about uh, some of the stuff that I actually use during games uh, as well as a little extracurricular uh, that I really only made about three quarters of the way through the season. Uh, so we'll see you then. I've been Avondale. Thanks for watching.